All right, so as you should be aware, there is currently a Fortnite Fuse Starter Quest Pack available, and it's $9.99. Now, you can't gift this, and you can't buy it with V-Bucks. You have to spend real money, again, $9.99. Now, this is a first of its kind because it's technically a Rocket Racing Quest Pack. However, you do get a LEGO style and a Battle Royale skin as well. But the majority of rewards are for Rocket Racing. So when you purchase the pack, you do get the skin instantly, and you get the car instantly, but then you also get a quest pack that works in Rocket Racing. And that's where you unlock all the decals as well as the paint colors for the car, in addition to the secondary style for the skin. So I did promise you guys a full gameplay and review on the quest pack, and I've been working on it. The issue I'm having is I wanted to unlock everything so I could show everything. And I thought it would be super, super easy, but the quest pack challenges are time consuming. Way time consuming. And that's what this video is for. I'm going to help you get them done super quick. So first of all, what are the quest pack challenges? So there's actually only one single quest and it sounds easy. It's simply travel, total, distance. That's it. However, it does have 13 different stages. And as you progress, they get longer and longer and longer. So for example, stage one, again, travel, total, distance is only 50,000 distance. Now I've tested this a million different ways. It seems on average that in a normal ranked game, you can get about 25,000 distance every match. So that's not bad, right? Just a few matches and you're on the next stage. But as I said, as you progress, the distance gets longer and longer. So for example, right now, as of this video, I'm on stage 11 of 13. And as you can see, the total distance is now 400,000. So if you get 25,000 distance per match and you need to get 400,000 for this stage, that's 16 matches of ranked rocket racing. 16, just for one stage. Do you know how long 16 matches is going to take you? Probably over an hour. And that's, again, for one single stage. There's 13 stages. So I kid you not, I probably have played close to five hours of rocket racing so far. And again, I'm not even done yet. I'm stage 11 of 13 after five hours. Just to put this into even more perspective, when I first started with the quest pack, I hadn't played a single match of rocket racing this season. I was unranked. And right now I'm in platinum two. Platinum two. I went from unranked to platinum two, and I'm still not done with the quest. That's how long and time consuming they are. I'm not kidding when I say this. These are insane. In fact, for the free challenges that everyone has, they're called Neon Rush Kickoff. One of them is to complete 50 ranked matches. And I blew through that. I've done well over 50 matches and you're gonna have to as well to get these done. So at least by doing this, you can unlock some of these free rewards. However, one of my friends has developed an insane strategy that will get this done fast. Now it'll still be time consuming and it's boring as all get out but it is much, much quicker, and I'm gonna show you the technique. So first off, all credit goes to my friend, Fresh Ice Midas. He's the one that showed me this technique, and it 100% works. So just to prove it works, let's do a little tracking here. So right now, again, I'm on stage 11 of 13, and I'm at 16,252, and that's out of 400,000. So like I said, in a normal match of Rocket Racing Ranked, you get about 25,000, give or take a little bit, distance per match. However, if you come to the game modes in Rocket Racing, you can also do speed runs. If we come down here a little bit, and you'll start to see these. It says speed run by Epic, speed run advanced by Epic, speed run expert by Epic. There's one map that is insanely good for completing these quests. So it's under advanced tracks by Epic. Windy Way advanced tracks. This is the map you want. You want to go to speed run Windy way okay so you're gonna be by yourself in here there's no one racing against you let's play okay so here we go now in these speed runs once you cross the finish line one time the match ends so we don't want to do that okay so i'll show you exactly where you have to go so just follow me we're gonna go close to the end it doesn't matter what you do here you can fool around all you want but we got to get close to the end of the map and that's where the trick begins so do whatever you want until we get to the spot that I tell you. So we're just going to race normal. And all the other quests you can compete in here too, such as hitting boosts and hitting turbos, things like that. So we're going to go towards the end of the map. Again, we're not racing anybody. It doesn't even matter if you die. 
We just need to make it close to the finish line and I'll show you exactly where to go. So, okay, right here, you see that sign in the top right? This is the windy tunnel. So you're gonna see this green loop right here and then a pink loop. This is where we start our fun, okay? So we come around here and right here, as you hit these boosts, we're gonna go over right here and we're gonna go backwards. So you just keep going on this loop and that's it. Again, you're about to see the boost right here. Come over here, flip right over. And we're gonna go round and round and round for the full duration of the match. So straight ahead is the finish line. So again, we're gonna flip over here. And even if somehow you blow up right here, actually, I'll just show you. Let me come around one more time and I'll crash into the rocks, maybe. Actually, we'll go down here. Okay, so now we're out of bounds. We crash and it puts you right back here. So you're about to hit the boost, come over here. Just flip your car over and you're gonna stay on this. It will say wrong way just for a second and you're just going in a big loop-de-loop. -loop. So you'll get the hang of this real quick, I promise. Now there are some daily quests where you can, let's see, hit the speed boost like these or you can hit a turbo while you're boosting, so just like this. And you can rack those up as well. But whoa, what the heck just happened there? Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, that wasn't supposed to happen at all but it spawns you right back here, right before these boosts. You can hit the boost if you want, just hop on over to this loop-de-loop -loop, and you're just gonna keep on doing this. Now, like I said, it's boring. It's boring beyond belief. At least when you're playing ranked, you get the sense of accomplishment because you're racing against other people, you're winning the match, we're losing the match, you're ranking up, and it's fun. This is just mind-numbingly boring. But we're trying to go for total distance. That's what we gotta do, and this makes it so much faster. You can see the countdown in the top right, and it'll trick you towards the end. So let me fast forward a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have less than one minute remaining now. At the one minute mark, it does alert you as well. But this is where some people freak out and they try to cross the finish line. You don't have to do that just yet. And let me show you why. So just keep on keeping on over here in your endless cycle of fun. You got 30 seconds left, don't worry about that. There's gonna be a surprise at the end every single time and it helps you out a little bit more. Whoa, we went a little crazy there. All right, we're at the 15 second mark in just a second. Again, most people would try to finish the match up right here. Not us, we're gonna keep going. Countdown going down in our face doesn't phase us at all because watch what happens when the clock strikes zero. Overtime, you get an additional one full minute. Now here's where there's a choice because there's some free quests where you have to complete speed runs. So you can wait until there's like 10 seconds left and then go through the finish line up there. Or you can just keep going around and around and around and not finish the match, let the time tick down, but then you don't get credit for the speed run. Unless you cross the finish line, it will not give you credit for that other quest. So I'm gonna try to do at least one more loop here and then we'll cross the finish line. It doesn't really matter because some of the quests you have to complete 50 speed runs and are you really gonna do that? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try to do one more, it's gonna be close. Oh boy, I might not make it actually. Oh, we gotta go quick. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, it's gonna be real close. Uh, no, we didn't make it. Okay, so I actually messed that up. So it does say match fitness. It still counts for the quest we're doing, but for the other quest, it does not count. So let me show you what I mean. So let's return to lobby now. Now remember, we were at 16,252. That's where we were, 16,252. And now look where we are, 106,150. So that means we just got 89,898 distance in one single match. 89,000, pretty much 90,000. Again, compare that to a ranked match where you can only get, at maximum, about 25,000. So this method is way, way faster. Now this is what I was talking about up here, the Neon Rush quest, right here, the speedrun quest. Unless you cross the finish line at the end, these won't go up. So if you just let the time run out like I just did that last match, you do not get credit for these. But again, these are different quests, these are free. And to get the ultimate reward, you have to do 175 speedruns, yikes. But again, that has nothing to do with these quest pack challenges. So you can see why I haven't done my quest pack full gameplay and review yet. I've been grinding my butt off for these and I did it the legit way before finding out about this method. 
So I am going to use this method for the last three quests here. But the first ten, I painstakingly grinded out in ranked racing. Holy smokes. Probably five plus hours of my life, and I'm not even done yet. So hopefully with this technique, all of you that bought this quest pack will get these done super, super quick. And like I said, I will do a full gameplay and review. The only thing I have left to unlock is the gold style, and that's in three more stages of this stupid quest. So I'll probably have it out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my support a greater code, which is Tabor Time.